Welcome to another Walk with Seed World, where we trade boardrooms for real conversations and business shoes for boots on the ground. Today, I'm walking with someone who knows a thing or two about what really makes seeds stronger, smarter, and more sustainable. From deserts to floods, regulation to innovation, she's navigating the toughest terrain in agriculture and building the technologies that help farmers thrive in it. We're diving into seed applied technologies, what they are, what they're not, why they might just be one of agriculture's biggest undertold stories. Ready to walk? Let's go. Let's take a stroll over to, to your booth here at World Seed Congress. Um, so as we're strolling, just, just tell me, there's so much innovation coming in, in many areas of sustainability, but especially in seed applied technologies. Uh, how is what, what's your test for whether a seed applied technology really moves the needle in terms of uh, sustainability, efficacy, and benefit to, to producers? Look, I truly believe it's the role of, of companies like us, of Corteva, to bring innovation to the market and again to bring the tools to the farmer, to the seed companies to protect their, their seed in this initial phase. And Corteva really made a move to bring new products to the market, um, which are more sustainable, which are filling the gap. If you think about Turkey today, they just banned um, a chemistry class here, which is leaving a gap. And we made a bold step actually a couple of years ago already to be ready for that change and fill this gap. So today we have a product called Lumivia, which fits perfectly in this gap. It's registered, whatever. And it gives the farmer the peace of mind it needs, right? To, to protect the crop in its initial phase. Can you talk about Corteva's strategy a little bit in terms of how you are building products that can win across those challenges? Well, I think first of all, these challenges are very local or they're, I mean, not locally in the sense of importance, but they're locally very different. So, you know, having one product fits all is not working. We really test our product in local conditions and under local challenges. And I think this is super important and you need to adapt. And that's why our portfolio is growing as well, right? Because it's not one solution fits all. So we really want to make sure we have the right solution at the right place. Now you mentioned Lumivia, which is launching today, right now, it's right going, here in Turkey. Exactly. Okay, which is which is really exciting. And I know that you've got some other products that are they're launching, and I, I want to ask you about what's coming in the pipeline. But what can fit on a seed is limited. How how do you choose which can earn a spot on this on the seed? Again, I think it really depends on the individual need. You really have to check what is the need. Don't pack everything you want on the seat. Check the need first and go from there. Um, and then, you know, the customer's needs really differ. So we really um, develop recipes for each of them based on their needs. And one customer might ask for a specific biostimulant, for example, and we test that and we make that available for them. But our approach is certainly not put as much as we can on the seed, but exactly what is needed. And I think that's in the sense of, of wider, the wider community as well, right? Okay. So, so now what people will be very interested in this product that is coming to market just today, and, and you already spoke a little bit about it. Can you give us some hints about what's coming in your pipeline? Yeah, I, I mean, I mentioned it before. We are just launching the new media today. Here, it's actually launched. We are at the, we are changing the market now to new media. It's an excellent insecticide registered across rocks, so we are super excited about that. Um, we have a new bird repellent coming. It's actually a biological bird repellent, which we will launch throughout Europe. And we also have Miniposa, which we are still rolling out. I mean, it has been in the market for some time, but it's it's still gaming registration uh, and coming. And of course, we work on biologicals as well. I mean, this is it's really an area we focus as well. So there will be more coming for sure in the next couple of years. It's it's exciting. And you can you can hear in the background of our conversation here that there's lots going on. There's lots of there's lots of people. There's lots of buzz um, because people are really interested what what has been the impressions that you've gotten from conversations you've had with people here at world seed congress i think 
think it's a changing environment. You know, people are really looking for new solutions, adapted, as I said before, adapted solutions, exactly identifying what they need. So th there's a huge interest in general for seed treatment, because I think at the end of the day, for seed companies, they want to protect their seed, but also for the farmer, that he's looking for this peace of mind at the initial stage. I think we, we share the, the common value and the understanding how important it is for the seed to protect it at the initial stage. And for yourself five years from now, do you think big steps still to come? especially in the biological space, for sure. Um, we certainly also have to see where different regulations are going globally and how we can adapt, navigate. Um, but of course, we are fully committed again to support seed companies, to support the farmers and make it more sustainable as well. Monica, it's a pleasure chatting with you. Thank Likewise. you for making the Thank time. Thank you so much. It's exciting days ahead. Thank you.